Let's remember March 2020 when COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic. For established health disparities researchers, we knew, we knew that COVID-19 would have a disproportionate impact on groups and populations already experiencing deep levels of disadvantage and health disparities in the U.S. and across the globe. At that time, with no treatments or vaccines, testing was what could be conducted to detect cases and encourage the use of mitigation strategies. NIH committed to focus on the needs of underserved and vulnerable communities. That's a really big deal. The rapid acceleration of diagnostics under sort of populations, Radix Up, it's the single largest investment in health disparities in the history of NIH. The goal of the Radix program overall is to develop, produce, and scale testing for COVID-19. And Radix UP specifically is to implement and distribute those tests in other sort of populations. It's not only on implementing, it's not only on action, but it's also about understanding what drives people to get tested. Partnership between academicians and community partners and having to execute on that during a pandemic was critical to the success of the program. What we've seen during the pandemic and during the work of RADx Up is a really intentional effort to engage community groups and partner with them at all levels. Our commitment to the community, our commitment to engage them, really serves to build trust to them by saying to them that we value your role in helping us to do our work. The research institutions may not have that connection um, that, that we have built over the years. We are a constant, uh, we are consistent. We know the values and beliefs that our um, community has. We use their input in a way that uh, helps us to adapt our programs uh, to better serve their needs and their challenges. One example of that has been our uh, at-home testing project where we worked with county government, we worked with small community colleges, we worked with alumni groups and veterans groups to disseminate uh, and distribute uh, test kits to over you know, 1.5 million households across the U.S. The Radix UP program has increased the number of tests available to their community. They have figured out ways on how to actually get more people to test and get more people to be vaccinated. They are actually understanding what are the drivers and motivators for people to do all that. Though testing was the original goal of the Radix Up, we felt it was important of uh, focusing on the solution to the pandemic, which would be the vaccine. Pharmacists are the most accessible healthcare providers, and they have been on the front lines delivering vaccines as well as testing since the beginning of the pandemic. Radix UP is a consortium of 125 projects, and it is very important not only for these teams to work together at the project level, but also for these teams to work together at the consortium level. We do that by facilitating meetings, facilitating working groups, facilitating connections among the projects, having technologies for people to connect with each other to make sure that the consortium creates a community of practice around COVID-19 testing. Collecting common data elements across different populations and different communities. We're gonna be able to go from like a local level to a more macro level across the consortium to get to the nuances of, you know, what are predictors of different outcomes depending on, you know, where you're from, depending upon what your social determinants of health are. I really began to feel that there was uh, some movement when a colleague, a community leader that we engaged in Radex up in our at-home testing project, and she said to me, what's next? Really talking about a long-term commitment to work with academic partners and the federal government to really create change, not just in her community, but in communities across this country. This initiative is underscoring the importance of community engagement, true meaningful community partnerships that are grounded in trust and trustworthiness. The future will include, for example, emphasis on building research strategies that include community collaborators and partners long before the specific research proposal or project or crisis. Radix Up is a blueprint in many respects. The, the methods that we have implemented are really gonna set the stage for a lot more funding to be able to apply these methods to all health disparities, not only those associated with COVID-19 testing.